As part of its certification testing, the prototype MC-21 aircraft has made significant progress, conducting 19 flights and spending over 70 hours in the air near Zhukovsky, Moscow region. It represents 18% of the total flight testing requirement. As part of a major import substitution initiative, this airliner is progressively substituting imported components with Russian ones and is equipped with domestic systems and PD-14 engines manufactured by the United Engine Corporation. The MC-21 aircraft certification program is scheduled to finish in 2025 with a total of 220 to 230 test flights. Multiple prototype aircraft will share a significant number of flight hours to expedite the certification procedure. The most important thing is that the testing program did not stop. It continued at the time when we held the meeting. One aircraft is in the air, tests are continuing. So despite any problems, I am sure that this aircraft, but soon, very soon, will be built. Aircraft of domestic civil aviation. We are in schedules, we are in plans. And airplane engines are now more of an electronic device. In the last week, we see that they see each other. So we have confidence that this year on Russian engines, MC-21 to fly, the materials are qualified. We understand that for us, this is a program to expand suppliers across the entire line of components. So we are also working here. Everything in the schedule, we believe that Russia's wing is approaching readiness for bench testing soon. Together with cooperation and the Russian International, despite the pandemic, there are a number of restrictions associated with this. However, these tests continue. A fairly serious test block was completed to protect against water ingress of the Vosko Zoborniki Dismarshal and uh, helped on the power plant. Now we are having seasonal tests at the ICE summit. We conducted a full range of tests on large attack sites. In mid-2025, one prototype logged 19 flights for a total of 74 flight hours, and a second aircraft is being prepared to join the certification program, which will help share the flight hours and tests required. The certification flights involve testing various onboard systems, electronic equipment, radios, and operations under different climatic conditions, including in-flight icing and landing gear oscillations. In-depth testing of onboard electronics was conducted during the initial certification flight of the most recent aircraft, which commenced on June 26, 2025, and lasted approximately four hours. Serial deliveries to airlines such as Aeroflot are anticipated to commence following the completion of the certification procedure by the conclusion of summer 2026. It is also acknowledged that the certification process encompasses tests to ensure the durability of domestic systems that replace foreign components and safeguard engines from water. The objective is to develop aircraft that are entirely composed of domestic components and equipped with nearly all Russian systems. The MC-21 has completed over 1,000 test flights in the seven years since its maiden flight in May 2017. During this time, the first prototype conducted a 30-minute flight at an altitude of 1,000 meters to evaluate its stability and handling. The Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, TESS AGI, has conducted a comprehensive series of tests on the aircraft, which include wing and structural strength assessments. Additionally, different tests have looked at the auxiliary power units, electrical lighting, air conditioning, and pressurization systems, wing mechanisms, and flight control software. In 2023, the MC-21 prototypes completed a total of 114 flights, accumulating more than 365 hours of flight time. They flew 52 times in 2024, accumulating more than 181 hours of flight time. During these evaluations, hours and flights are distributed among multiple aircraft to expedite certification. Rostec said the certification process will be accelerated by a second MC-21 aircraft that is currently being prepared for flights in Irkutsk. However, the complete testing cycle must ensure the safety and reliability of the aircraft.
The MC-21 is equipped with more than 70 Russian components, such as an onboard avionics suite, conditioning and pressurization systems, cockpit control displays, and lighting equipment. The percentage of domestic systems has increased considerably, with the objective of achieving 97% Russian content, despite the restrictions imposed by sanctions on the use of foreign components. Currently, over 20 MC-21s are undergoing various stages of assembly, with approximately 220 to 230 test flights planned prior to achieving type certification. 14 MC-21 fuselages are in various stages of construction. Some are already completed and some are nearly ready for use. And nine are under development. Despite the identified challenges, Yakovlev PJSC and Aero Composite JSC are constantly working to adapt and improve design solutions for the MC-21 aircraft, taking into account accumulated experience and existing limitations. Acceptance tests for the MC-21 prototype aircraft, which has been fully upgraded as part of the import substitution program, have started in the final assembly workshop of the Irkutsk Aviation Plant, part of the Irkutsk Regional Department of Soyuzmash of Russia. This machine with factory number 00113 completes the MC-21 prototype aircraft line. The aircraft exhibits remarkable operational characteristics, with seating capacities that range from 132 to 211 passengers, depending on the model and configuration. It has a maximum launch weight of 85 tons and a maximum flight range of up to 6,000 kilometers. The PD-14 variants are increasingly undergoing certification testing, and the program includes versions that utilize both imported and domestic engines. The program leadership expects to finalize all certification procedures and initiate serial deliveries to airlines by the end of 2026. Consequently, the MC-21 program has achieved numerous important objectives including the transition to completely domestically sourced components and the preparation for serial production. This includes the completion of over 1,000 intensive test flights, which involved structural and system tests under extreme conditions, as well as the first brief flight in 2017. The prototype aircraft has accumulated over 700 flight hours, with approximately 230 flights serving as critical indicators of its reliability and safety in challenging operational environments. With the rapid completion of certification phases and the preparation for widespread use on domestic and international routes, the MC-21 is progressively establishing itself as the flagship of new generation Russian civil aviation. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.